Vultures are among the most morphologically distinct and ecologically important avian groups in the world and can be found on every inhabited continent except Australia. They also have a long history of negative portrayal in our culture. Now different vultures have a huge variety of different sizes, colors, and behaviors, but today's video focuses on two species that can be found in North Carolina, the turkey vulture and the black vulture. Turkey vultures are the most widely distributed New World vulture, with a vast range extending from Canada to Argentina. They are also among the most well-known by the general public, often seen gliding on thermal updrafts high in the sky. This flying feat is made possible due to an impressive six-foot wingspan, coupled with a body weighing less than three pounds, and allows turkey vultures to cover huge distances on the wing while expending very little energy. In the air, these birds are most easily identified by the lighter colored inner fringes of their wings. If you've seen them from a distance, it can appear that turkey vultures are pretty unexceptional looking birds. While it's true that most of their body is covered with brown to black feathers, when you take a closer look at these organisms, it becomes apparent that they are actually quite beautiful. Their featherless head is often vibrant shades of pink, red, and sometimes even blue iridescence below the eyes. The lack of plumage helps ensure that no leftovers get stuck to their heads during feeding, which reduces the likelihood of bacterial growth and possible infection. But the most unique characteristic about this species at least in my opinion, is their incredible sense of smell. Possessing the largest olfactory system of any bird, turkey vultures are able to detect a carcass by smell alone from over a mile away. This means that a host of other scavenging birds, which cannot smell very well, depend on turkey vultures to locate carrion to feed on. Among these species is the black vulture. Slightly smaller, and with different feeding habits than the turkey vulture, black vultures are actually pretty distinct from their larger cousins, in terms of ecology and adaptations. In fact, while they are both New World vultures and have some common traits, the similarities pretty much end there. Black vultures share the featherless head of turkey vultures, but their skull is more elongate and commits less bone structure to the housing of the olfactory system. They also have a smaller brain to skull ratio, so not to be mean, but they aren't exactly the brightest vultures in the flock. Locating carcasses, either through their incredible eyesight or by following turkey vultures, black vultures are known to be voracious feeders. Often descending upon feeding sites in huge flocks, these birds are capable of displacing other birds, including their larger cousin, through aggression in large group size. Another astounding difference in the behavior of these two species has to do with their preference for the deadness of their potential meal. Turkey vultures are extremely wary of getting too near to anything which could possibly be alive, and are easily spooked off by the slightest of movements. Black vultures, on the other hand, have been documented swarming and killing vulnerable animals, including livestock, that are still very much alive by pecking them to death. No matter what their preferred feeding strategy, both species play a critically important ecological role as some of the most efficient scavengers that nature has ever produced. Because they are able to cover large distances on the wing, and, in the case of turkey vultures, locate carcasses by scent alone, there is very little organic material that goes to waste when vultures get involved. By consuming carrion, these birds recycle critical nutrients back into the ecosystem, where they can be used by organisms such as plants and bacteria. Vultures are also capable of cleaning up a carcass faster than any other scavenger, reducing the likelihood of diseases being spread throughout the ecosystem. Can you imagine a world where vultures don't exist and everything that dies just lays around and rots for weeks? Do you even want to? Unfortunately, despite their ecological value, these birds are often regarded as ugly and disgusting due to their appearance and feeding habits. Throughout the world, 
humans have a history of killing vultures using weapons or poison, simply because they were viewed as repulsive. Since most vulture species only lay two eggs per year, even a few adults being killed can cause local population declines. While there has been lots of positive progress towards improving human vulture relations in the past couple of decades, getting the general public to appreciate the importance of these birds will take everyday conversations between you and me and our friends and family. I invite you to share this video with your social network right now to see what kinds of discussions you can have about the ecological value of these incredible birds. Alright everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the turkey vulture and the black-headed vulture. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning as often as possible. Also, be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram pages at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.